All this data gathering has provided work for millions of Americans who make a living typing data into computers. Ironically, these information workers may be monitored more closely than anyone. For the work they do leaves a record, which means that some hidden overseer can monitor exactly what they type, how fast they type it, and when they stop for a break. Probably no group in the workforce is more closely monitored or has less privacy than the folks who deal with information. Because every aspect of what they do, by the very nature of the technology, is recorded. Uh, those people really live in a prison. They live in an informational prison. Uh, it's in the nature of what they do. Now, I can see and have believed for some time that employee privacy is one of the great workplace issues of the 21st century. It's already become an issue, with angry workers filing complaints. One such disgruntled employee is Harriet Topitzis, who's been monitored for years by her employer, TWA. This electronic timesheet details a TWA phone agent's typical workday. It shows how many calls she's answered, how long each call took, how much time she paused between calls, and how long her breaks were, down to the second. Such workers may be reprimanded for talking to a customer for too long, or taking too much time on a break. This is an electronic sweatshop uh, where you have uh, the sophistication of the computer uh, and management uh, demanding that you work harder and faster continuously. That round trip airfare would be only $377. It's not a way that the human body can work. You break down, just like a machine breaks down. And that's the whole point here. They're trying to make robots of us. Not for the first time, a new technology has come into conflict with a social system. Computer technology is changing at such an enormous rate. I mean, the technology is being overthrown about every three or four years. And social systems move much more slowly. So you get the computers moving like that and the social system just sort of creeping along. So there's always going to be a difference between the two. The greatest fear I have, the greatest fear I have, is that we become so comfortable with the technology that we get so many benefits from the technology that we are anesthetized by the technology. It may well be that we are ju just going to sleep, that we're just not caring or understanding enough to take that step back and say, wait, this is great stuff. These are wonderful machines. But let's keep it on the plus side. Let's, let's make sure that we understand what the deleterious side effects are. Let's control the technology. Don't let the technology control us.